Okay, 12th of January, Raycastle update. Uh, we have some pathfinding working now. Uh, so, if we jump in here, uh, these white dots and the white lines connecting them, that's like a predefined, hard-coded path that he's on. Uh, I can simulate like a sound or something um, with a keystroke, which would just like alert him to my presence so he has to pathfind I'll give him a difficult job by going up here so if I press enter he jumps onto this new path here and if he spots me he'll adjust that path so at the moment oh yep yeah, he spotted me so his path's changed if I can get out of here without him spotting me then we can see him ducking behind the wall there And at the moment, he just beelines back to the first waypoint. So I'll have to come up with some logic or behavior um, that's better than that. Maybe we can get him to pathfind to us again. And sneak around and watch what he's doing without him spotting us. He still clips through the walls a little bit. I've got to work on that. But yeah, so that's that. Um, so I'll try and get some shooting stuff working next. Um, his paths aren't always the shortest path, but I'm, I think that's okay. Uh, I think it's probably the heuristic I'm using, which is like uh, as the crow flies distance. So. You can kind of see here, it would have been faster to go like directly horizontally across there, but instead he's still going towards the player, then comes back out. Um, I don't know, I'm not sure if I even want to fix that. I kind of think that's kind of cool because it's like he's heard a noise and then realizes, oh, he can't get through that way, pops back around. So, yeah, maybe that's okay. And then he's actually spotted the player, so he's locked on. Yeah, so I pulled that algorithm from an old project that I worked on um, called Offline. This was for uh, AIE. It was like a an assignment on AI. Um, so, yeah, it's one of those ones where I, I don't know if it, it's either A-Star or Dijkstra or some hacky combination of both. Um, but this is a similar kind of thing. It's like pathfinding on a grid. So the implementation is really, really similar. And so, yeah, this, this guy here is the player. He's trying to get to this goal, and he's trying to avoid these guys in blue. You can see their sight cones. Um, this one, it's actually got cost assigned to the tile, so you can see he slows down in the trees. He can walk through water, but it's quite slow, so he avoids it unless it's the shortest path. And if these guys spot him, like they have now, they shoot at him and he's dead. Uh, so, moat. I'm guessing moat, he probably has to walk through water. Yeah, so this, this one's kind of an example of like, it's faster to go through the water than to try and walk all the way around. He's been spotted. Can he get away? Yep. Yeah. and shot yeah so that's that so I basically ripped the code out of that and repurposed it for Ray Castle um, which was harder than I was anticipating but it's working um, and in the process I've ended up setting up like a bit of a test framework using Google test because some of these kind of functions that you need um, they're, they're not that complex, but they're easy to get wrong. Like, if you can imagine, we've got like a grid and we're on some cell, and then we need to get all the neighboring cells around that. So, like, we're on this ID, and then we're going to get the top left, the top, the top right, and all the ones neighboring it. But then if we're on the edge of the screen, we have to make sure we don't go out of bounds of the array and stuff like that. So I ended up just writing some tests to 
prove these work correctly. Uh, so that's all working. And um, it's already found some bugs for me too. Like I had a bug in this two world position which converts like a, uh, a cell index, like an array index to a, a vector two world position. And my math was wrong in that. So uh, the tests have helped me find a couple of things there, which is nice. Um, yeah, so that's that's about it, really, I guess, for the moment. Uh, so, hoping to get some shooting stuff in soon, and and just some more clever behaviour, like, you know, he starts with this hard-coded path, maybe if, if he gets alerted to the player, but then doesn't find him after a period of time, he should go back to his patrol path. Uh, at the moment, he kind of just... Um, if he doesn't find the player, he just kind of keeps doing this same path here. So need to be a bit more clever about how that all works. Yeah. Cool, cool.